Friday evening, August the 20th. Welcome to my desk. Friday evening, August 20th. Welcome everybody who's coming in. We'll give folks a little bit of time to get in. Yeah, if you saw my post earlier today, you will have seen that I am at it again with the <laughs> cleaning out the stash. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, well, we got Happy Mail here showing. <laughs> okay, so for your birthday, I got a birthday card from the Nebraska Lottery. <laughs> I get a giggle out of it. For your birthday, would you rather have 22,000 calories? Mm, look at all that yummy 22,000 calories. Or the chance to win $22,000. So every year for your birthday, they send you a free lottery ticket for the pick two. You have to cash it in by December the 31st. I'm going to cash mine in. Maybe it'll, I'll win $22,000 and pay my dentist bill. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? Welcome, everybody. Welcome to those who are watching. I have happy mail to open. I have a list tonight. Let's take this happy mail off of the desk. Uh, I have happy mail to open. I want to talk about this project which is half done. I'm just going to show it. And I want to announce the Time for Art September theme and talk about that. And we're going to do some junk journaling. And we're going to talk about our Fibsville story tonight. Woohoo! Woohoo! Hi, Kathy D. Welcome, welcome, Kathy. Welcome, Kathy. Thanks for coming in and chatting with me. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's see, this clip was given to me by um, Judy Patton in her last Happy Mail, and I think it's perfect for my Society of Idea Collectors, because it's a light bulb, and light bulbs, you know, ding, the light bulb goes on with an idea. I missed Dee Dee's uh, last... Dee Dee's last uh, assignment, um, weekly idea. I looked for it. I couldn't find it. Did she give one last week? I'm trying to get this on here. There we go. We'll just put it right there. Okay. When I get it, I did. I did sit out on the front porch today and sketch some flowers. Not today. Yesterday. Not yesterday. August the seventeenth. <laughs> <laughs> which was Tuesday. Oh, my time goes fast. We're going to come back and talk about this. This is what uh, this is what I'm going to put my junk journal in. This is going to be the base. These pictures. This calendar. It's a Lang Country 2020 last year calendar. I'm not going to use it full size. I'm going to tear it apart and use it halfway. There's everybody. Janet, Janet, Janet. Keep our friend Janet Baum in your hearts and prayers. Uh, she is in, her and her family in her area is in, is it a Hurricane Henry, Janet? And they got uh, flash flood warnings out. And Janet says they've been running around all day today trying to prepare for that. Oh, I, you know, it's, it would be like me getting a tornado warning. Ah! <laughs> so, Janet, if you need to run away at any time, you know, don't apologize. Just go when you need to go, and we're glad to see you here. And let's go back to the top. Kathy D. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Barbara Chicken Pot Pie Society. Are you the one who talked to Lori Baum? Uh, I got a package from Lori Baum. Was it you, you Barbara? I, I guess I'll know when I open it. Janet says, hello, Mary. There's Lori Pink Girlie. 
Hi, Barbara. Hi, Janet. Hi, ladies, Janet says. They're saying hello out there to everybody. Rhonda, so nice to see you. I hope things are good with you. Brenda D is here. Hi, Brenda. Do, 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 do. We got a Kathy D and a Brenda D. And Mina, there's Mina. Hi, Mina. <laughs> Mina has such a wonderful imagination. She inspires me. I don't know if she knows that, but she does. She inspires me. Hi, Lori. Lori loves Montana. Hi, hi. Lori, if I work down to find Blaze again, I'm going to put him in the mail. <laughs> Sometime, someday, Lori, I'll put that dog home to you. Yeah, Janet said... We are expecting a direct hit Sunday into Monday. So let's just pray that it's not so direct. <laughs> let's just pray that it avoids Janet's area. And it, let's just pray that it goes back out to the ocean where it can't harm. It, it'll only get the fishies. <laughs> you know, we've had enough disaster in our country over the years. We just don't need any more. Uh, Brenda's here, Mina's here, Mary, I think Dee Dee suggested you go into Pinterest and identify uh, identifying art, more than one item you like, and the elements you find attractive. So, we're supposed to get, go get inspired by Pinterest. Okay. All right, thank you, Mina. I appreciate that update. See, you do inspire me. You keep me on track. Let me write that down in my Society of the Idea Collector Journal. That is for week 14, I believe. I believe we are on week 14. I did week 13. That's my week 13 there. So... Uh, hashtag society and if you guys want to know what's going on if you're on Instagram type in hashtag society of idea collectors all one word all spelled out I haven't got much out there <laughs> I just haven't had the time to do it and this is week 14 idea I should put inspiration. Inspiration from Dee Dee Willingham. Inspiration from Dee Dee Willingham. If I write it down, William. Willingham. <laughs> if I write it down, like Dee Dee says, then I won't, then, I, then I'll have it. So go to Pinterest. And identify art more than one item that you like. And the elements you find attractive. Oh boy, that's a big job. Everything I like. But one or more. Okay. And I then I then I conclude that she wants us to do a piece of art. Do art inspired by it. Okay. Thank you, Mina. I had a busy week last week. And when I wasn't busy, I was tired. <laughs> and I, let me tell you, almost all today, I sat cleaning out stash. Okay. Janet saying hello to Lori. Prayers, Janet. Also, Didi. Didi bug in your prayers. She lost her mother this morning. Oh, no! Diddy Willingham lost her mother this morning? 
Oh, am I reading that right, Lori Montana? Did Didi lose her mother? Her mother, she was pretty close to her mother. Oh, no. And didn't Scott just lose his brother or his sister's husband or something? Uh, not Scott. Got Becky on her mind. Her husband, Hubster. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to send her a card. Rhonda said, thank you. I'm glad to see you in. And thank you for all, Barbara says. It was you. Well, Barbara, we're going to open uh, Paint Girlie's Peggy as soon as I get done reading chat. Lori says, hi, pomegranate. <laughs> Janet's posting. Hi, Mina. They're saying hello to each other. <laughs> Lori. Hi, Mina, Arizina. <laughs> Aw. Aw. Is Renee here? Red Wagon. Hi, Red Wagon. Welcome, welcome. Barbara says, riding up and down in my little red wagon. Riding up and down in my little red wagon. Yay, Red is here. <laughs> yes, Mary Gold. Unsure if she had been ill, Lori said. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Anne. Lar says, Ann Lar says, my son has a home in Boston and Cape Cod and he is preparing for a double threat. Oh my goodness. So keep Ann's son in your prayers. You know, I wish that hurricane would just turn around and go right back out to the ocean where it belongs. It doesn't belong where there are people and houses and, and, and property and animals and all of that. Let's just pray that it Oh, miraculously change courses. <laughs> Gotta pray big prayers. Carol saying hi. Lori Montana, from what I can tell from her streams, Dee Dee's mother was declining in health, Barbara said. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it is very hard to see your mother's health fail. Very hard to watch well let's open some happy mail and then i'll get into my projects this came from Lori. now barbara had talked to me in one of the streams and said that she had won a contest that paint girly this is Lori paint girly uh barbara chicken pot pie society said she won one of Lori's contests and she said send it to mary you guys this is so nice this is the third happy mail that i've gotten two from janet nash uh, one from becky and who was the other person who is the other person i can't remember right offhand i'd have to look but uh happy mail they won these contests and then they say send it to mary oh my goodness and so mary benefits from it so let's just open it look at this pretty envelope I'm gonna have to cut it yes we will cut it I'm trying not to show the address oh it opens well I got a slit there, but I might be able to tape that closed again. Let's see what's in this mailer bag. Isn't that cool bag? I like the bag. Let's see what's in here. Oh, a doll. The doll. Oh, no. Really? Oh, that's just the label on it. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, the little doll. Oh, look at her little, look at her, <laughs> your little pigtails. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, I love this. 
Did you win this, Barbara? Did you, is that what you won? Oh, my heart. Thank you so much. Lori made this. Paint Girlie made this in the doll hop, the live stream hop. Oh, does it have a name? She is adorable. We're going to have to name her. Um, we'll have a we'll have a list to name her but let's up finish opening the rest of the of the happy mail uh, I think I can open this safely it says Mary and is this let's see let's read her note first I think this is from the auction happy birthday some goodies from me and Senior Harley and and I can't read that Harley streaming foam block one during my stream by Barbara oh is this is Senora Senora Harley Streaming foam zoom block. <laughs> I don't know what that is, Lori. Uh, one during my stream by Barbara. Pot pie. Picking gift to you. You are such a blessing to us. You are a blessing to us. Let's see what. Did I buy anything from you? I was at Keisha's auction, but I don't know if I caught you, Lori. I remember you doing these ATCs. These IATCs were just wonderful. I was in that stream when you did those. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. I love it. I love it. Look at what she did. Pink girly Lori does such a wonderful job with eyes. Just a beautiful, 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 beautiful job with eyes. Mary, I know nothing about the doll. That is a Lori. I'm responsible for the other item. Oh, what other item? Oh. Oh, the foam block? This? The foam block? See, I'm lost. Oh, and she sent me some of this fabric. Oh, she sent me some of the paper doll fabric. Oh, Lori. Oh, and she even fussy cut them. Oh, that's wonderful. Let's see what Lori says here. It's a postcard, a Van Gogh postcard. Oh, and she sent me some. <gasps> she sent me some um, sashiko stitching. Look at that. A whole strip of it. Oh, wow. Oh, this is cool. Very, very cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, Lori. Oh, man. And, and a little, looks like that came off. A little, a little, um, a little journal. Pages got kind of bent in there, but that's okay. I'll, I'll iron them out. And it's made, it looks like it's made out of handmade paper. And she did that stitching that, uh, you made this too, didn't you? I remember when you did this. Did you do this in the Saturday? I think she did this in the Saturday stream, the Saturday hop, where she did this, uh, this binding, this journal binding, and she attached a leaf. Yes, I remember it. And And then she's got some... Really interesting paper here. Uh, is that a rice paper? I'm not sure what kind of rice paper. Is that a rice? I'm not sure what kind of paper it is. It's a very interesting paper. So was this what you won? The foam block? Let's read the note again. Where's the note? You know nothing about the doll?
STA something foam block one during my stream by Barbara Chicken Pot Pie Society. All right, I missed this. What is the foam block used for? Is oh, is this one of those? This is one of those art foam blocks where you a stamping foam block where you can emboss a stamp into it and then stamp with it and then heat it up and it goes back into shape. I got it now. I understand. Oh, thank you, Barbara. That was so kind of you to... Oh, and she sent this doll. Oh my goodness, Lori, you are too generous. And an IATC and doll fabric and her little journal that she made. And the paper doll fabric and a whole big piece of of sashiko uh sh i'm not even pronouncing that correctly but oh this will go this will go in a fabric journal for sure oh laurie thank and barbara thank you so much for this this is just a blessing and while we're on the topic of blessing you guys have totally i know i said it before but i'll say it again you, all of you have totally blessed me with, in, for my birthday week. I have, I, I, well, I had a pretty good birthday last year too, but this has just been, every year, you make getting old, uh, palatable. <laughs> you make getting old, I don't want to say worth it, but you make it easier to get old. Yes. So, thank you very much. All right, let me catch up with what I'm missing in chat. Let me put this aside. I've got another happy mail here. Just it's an envelope, but let me let me catch up with chat here. It is mulberry paper. Okay, thank you, Lori. Let's go back to the top. Not to the very top. There's Barbara Clark. We'll go back to Barbara Clark. Mary Gold, look at the inspiration, Lori, uh, Lori Montana says, and the joy you bring to all of us. Oh, I don't know. I think you guys outdo me every time. <laughs> Let me have a sip of tea. You guys, our tomatoes are so beautiful this year. Mm, and they're, they're beautiful tomatoes, and they're nice and round and red and you slice them into slices and they're pretty and red and juicy mmm we had hamburgers tonight that's what's making me so thirsty but I ate extra tomatoes with them because they were delicious and we had our first sweet corn the other day we had to replant our sweet corn so it's a little late but my brother my brother went out and picked as much as he could find he said and he husked it and cleaned it and put it in the freezer. He said he got 30 ears um, of corn. Well, we just had two rows of corn. And he gave some to my nephew. And then we, then he got 30 ears for us. He said there's a little left. And every year I tell him, I said, well, let's plant more. And then you can give more to your nephew, I mean, to my nephew, to his son. You know? And no, he stops at two rows every time. <laughs> oh. All right. Barbara Clark, sa Clark says, to all of you in the path of the storms, keep your meds, fresh batteries, a flashlight, and a jug of water, just in case you have to flee. That's a good advice, Barbara. And welcome, Barbara Clark. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mina says she's adorable. I love that doll. It's so cute. Barbara says, Mary, I know nothing about the doll. <laughs> that is a Lori. We're going to name the doll a little bit later in the stream. <laughs> yeah, Lori said, that's not what Barb won. <laughs> I figured it out. I figured it out. Oh, Simon Hurley. Oh, a Simon Hurley. A foam block. Oh, is the stamping block was a Simon Hurley block. Is that what you're telling me, Pink Girly? Now I'm catching on slowly. Angie's here. Hi, Angie. Cantha quilt piece. Cantha. Um, yeah. 
Ooh, cool. There's a, a piece in the Needlework, Piecework magazine, which is a Needlework magazine, not this issue, but one of the others about those Cantha quilts. And of course, we learned all about them from, uh, from uh, Rosemary Morris. Do, do, do. Mulberry paper, not rice paper. Okay, mulberry paper. Thank you, Lori. A.K.A. Sheila. Hi, Sheila. Welcome, welcome. She says, I'm finally able to make a light again. Just going to lurk. Well, that is fine, Sheila. You, nurk, you, you, you lurk away. <laughs> you know, it's okay to lurk. Uh, I, I do that now quite often because, well, usually when I lurk, I have my hands busy doing something. And, you know, like if I'm doing slow stitching or or writing or something like that, I have to stop and finger peck on my phone to chat. So I either have to chat or do what I'm doing. So a lot of the live streams, I don't chat. I may say hello and then it looks like I disappear, but I'm really out there listening. Uh, sometimes I disappear. Sometimes, you know, I've got to get up and do things, but Sharon Marlowe. Hi, Sharon. She says, hi, Mary. Blessings, lady. And I'm lurking and working. What a great gift, Lori. You are so talented. Isn't Lori talented? I just love Lori's painting. I She just, she has a, a very unique, uh, precise style. Both her and Tanya McGuire have this clean style and Cat Hand. Cat Hand has a clean style that, you know, if I were to try to do the same type of art that they do, I would have to distress it. <laughs> I'd have to say, oh, we're going to make this a distressed page. Because <laughs> I invariably get messy. Okay, let's see. Laura Vasquez. Laura, 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 Laura. I spent your $20. <laughs> I took the 20 that you sent me and the 20 that Cheryl, um, Cheryl sent me, Little Sister Craft little sister and uh, is it little sister crafting little sister cheryl and i had forty dollars and then i went a little bit over but i tried to stay within my budget and we went antiquing last wednesday for a birthday trip i had so much fun doing that and i drug you guys all around with me and i spent every penny of it laura <laughs> so thank you for the birthday money and thank you to everybody who gave me super chats during that i did not do that to get birthday presents I did that to spend my birthday presents. <laughs> and you guys, you just blessed me. You blessed YouTube, too. <laughs> you will have to Google Simon Hurley Stan. I know who Simon is. I just, I don't watch him very much. But uh, Simon Hurley Stamping Foam. Okay, I will, Lori. Stamp Block Foam. Yeah. Lori is the bomb. She sure is. All right. Hi, light bulb. That doll is the cutest. <laughs> oh, dear. Mary, I can't send you nothing. Angie, 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 stop right there. If you're listening, Angie, I, if, I don't want people to feel like they need to send me anything. No, 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 no. You, you come to my chats. You participate, Angie. You give me thumbs up. You, you chat in the streams, you, you know, you're fine. You know, don't feel, I don't want anybody to feel like they have to, to send me anything. That's not what I'm about. If you want to, that's well and good. But Angie, don't, don't feel like you have to send me anything. I don't want you to feel that way or anybody. Um, uh, I appreciate everything I get. I, I truly do. But I'm not here to get. I'm here to have fun with my art and to get to know you guys. To get to know you and to do our art together and just have fun on a Friday night when I'm way out in the boondocks, you know. <laughs> what am I going to do on a Friday night? <laughs> Hi, Heather. Sharon is here. They're saying hello to Heather and Sharon. 
do. There's some more hellos going on there. How is everybody? Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Mary, the cover is mulberry and the pages are rice paper. Okay. So the cover is mulberry. Oh, well, that cover almost looks like a handmade paper. I'll bet it's a handmade mulberry paper. <laughs> and the, yeah, I thought maybe the pages were rice paper. Thank you. Lori, that was so generous of you to give that. I know you made that in one of your Saturday art streams I, or video hops, I think. I think I saw it. Or was it a Friday one? I can't remember. I saw when you did it anyway. I was watching you do it. It was in one of your streams. Allie Kay. Hi, Allie Kay. She says, washing dishes with mom. No hot water for dishwater. Hot water heater went out. Oh, no. The repair guy comes Monday, so you're going to have to heat your water on the stove. We used to have to do that. My mother used to have to do that. That's not fun, but at least you're going to get it repaired, huh? Allie Kay says, I got the iPad propped up on the counter. Don't splash soap on it. <laughs> well, there's Mary Lou, Auntie Loopy. Hi, Mary Lou. And Sherry Habing. Hi, Sherry. Welcome, welcome, ladies. Okay, I'm caught up with you. So, oh, I got one more Happy Mail to open. And this has addresses on both sides. This is from Mindy. Mindy put addresses on both sides, so I'm going to have to keep my hand over this. You guys are too sweet. Look at that candle. I'm sure this is probably... And she put candles on the other side, too. <laughs> what do you bet this is about the birthday? Let's open this up. Let's see. I'm going to open it up off stream. Hold on. I gotta get my scissors in there. Mindy, 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 you guys are too sweet to old Mary. So I have been cleaning out stash all day, you know, and a lot of the boxes I just threw stuff in, so I took them all out by my recliner. I took them all out by my recliner and I sorted through, and I made lists in my book, and I wrote down things. And here's what Mindy sent. Happy birthday from one glamorous babe to another. Aw, ah, Mindy. Look what Mindy did. Isn't that cute? Oh, oh, look at this. Stay curious. Oh, and is that a... That's a, boy, that is delicate. That looks like maybe it might be a Tim Holtz die cut. That's beautiful. Stay curious, take risks. Does it open up? I don't think so. I think it's just a card. And then on the back it says, We are, what we learn, what we learn becomes a part of who we are. Does it open up? I don't think it opens up. No, if it opens up, I'm not getting it. I don't want to tear it. It's 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 really cute. It's made to flip this way. I don't think it opens up. Celebrate. How many fingers are you? <laughs> I'm this many fingers. <laughs> If you take it in decades, I'm seven, I'm seven, I'm seven decades. <laughs> but you know, I don't feel seven decades. I do not feel my age. Thank goodness. Thank goodness I do not feel my age. Thank you, Mindy. This will go in my journal with the other cards. Thank you so much. So... Where am I at on my list? Where's my list? Oh no, how could I lose my list already? <laughs> I, I did. Did I put it up here? 
did I put it in this book? This is my inventory book. Did I put it in there? How could I lose it already? Honestly. Well, we aren't going to worry about it. Let's do this. Let me explain this. When I was cleaning and sorting, I ran across this accordion file folder. And this was gifted to me, I believe, by Vicki Brown. Um, messy, what is it? Messy, messy table, something like that. I can't remember her, her, uh, that she, she sent me some stuff and she sent this and said, if you can use it, you know, it's yours. And it sat in my stash for the longest time. And, uh, it's, it's really kind of cool. I was looking at it today and thought, what can I do with this? What can I do with it? And look, it's got all the ABCs clear to clear to Z, and then it's got the day, the months of the year on this side, which I probably am not planning on using the months of the year. But what I'm going to use it for, and I have started doing this, oh, about a week or so ago. Where are they? Are they in here? Someplace. Here. I have all these, uh, Inspired by Tanya McGuire, all of these random ransom letters, and I also have some quotes and stuff like that. So I'm going to sort out my ABCs here, and what I did, what I did in each pocket here, I'll pull the A out, I put a business envelope. Now this one's pretty well made that it doesn't it, it's all one pocket. Uh, some some accordion files that I've seen, they this is just one piece of paper and you put something in and it slides down. But this is not that way. But it has a it has a fold in there. And I thought, well, this would be convenient that I could just pull out the envelope. And when I do this, let's see. I want to put it in this way. And what I want to do is get out my fat marker here i want to write the alphabet here so i can see it i can see it over here on the on the folder but i want to see it on the envelope too in case i take the envelopes out let me get my marker out a fat marker so while we're chatting here, I'll try to keep an eye on chat while I'm doing this. I'm going to go through and write the letters on all of these envelopes. And then I'm going to sort out my letters and put them in the envelopes. Well, we're going to start with A. And it doesn't have to be beautiful. You know what I should do? Well, no, I'm going to do it this way. Um, well, let me pull that out. A, we'll pull it out, that's B and C, D, E, F, we'll go to G, and then I'll file them. So... B, C, D. Well, I'm going to have to send a card to Dee Dee Willingham. E, F. Dee Dee lost her mother. Nettie's home from Nettie uh, Munson. Our Nettie is home from her surgery. So we're glad to hear that. All right, let's put G back. And of course, this is always harder when you're online. <laughs> Although these envelopes don't quite fit, but they, they do scrunch in there. F E 
E. D. Can you say the alphabet backwards? You know, they do that drunk test. Repeat the alphabet backwards from Z to A. And I'm sitting there going, I can't do that sober. <laughs> I better never get drunk. I'm going, I could never do that. All right, there's B. I can X, Y, Z. If I go X, Y, Z, then I can go Z, Y, X. But I have to think about it backwards. All right. H, I, and J. K is a dirty envelope. K, L, M. And now I think Tanya, Tanya McGuire, stores her ransom letters in a little photo holder, I believe, if I remember right. So I'm ready for H. Where's my pen? What happened to my pen? It's up here. <laughs> H. These are just some old envelopes I got at the dollar store. H I J K L. Looks like I'm getting some of my letters messed up. M. Come on, M. M and oops, I just blow them around here and so let's start with N over here so this is Mary's one step in getting organized but Tanya uses uh, ransom letters which are just the alphabet cut out of different fonts and everything out of the magazines. And then you, they're called ransom letters because that's how they make ransom notes. <laughs> L, K, but they make nice journaling. Did Barbara leave? Okay. Bye, Barbara. Let's see. I and J are together. I guess they assume you don't have very many I and J words. Or whatever you're filing, you don't have a lot of I and J's. H. And is G done? G is done. So we're going to go clear to N. Was my last one? O, P and Q, R, S, T. Now I've said my ABCs. U and V, W, and X, Y, Z. And then I have an extra envelope for journal spots. All right, so what am I picking up with now? O, N, yeah, I'm picking up with O. O, P, Q, R. We're going to do a junk journal tonight, and we're going to talk about Fibsville. Yes. And I'll talk about Fibsville while I'm junk journaling. T. 
you we're going to list to name the doll that Lori sent me we'll do that next after I get this done W and I'm not going to stay too late tonight depends on how inspired I am with junk journaling <laughs> X, Y, Z, and this is just, I'll just put journal spots, journal spots. It's really like words and quotes and stuff like that. Okay, let's file these. These three, X, Y, Z, and journal spots go in the same slot. Let me file them. I do all this boring stuff in front of you guys. Keeps, keeps you motivated. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, that goes in the very back here. All right. So I'm going to do W. Let me bend this around. W. U and V. Here's the V and the U. They traditionally group some of these letters together. X, Y, Z, U and V, I and J. T S R Q and P and O. All right, we can put this aside for now. And let me look at chat. Let me look at chat. And we're going to sort out all these letters. Next. And put them in the envelopes. But let me look at chat. Hi, Becky. Welcome, Becky. Heather's here. Mary Lou is here. Mary Lou says, Becky. I wasn't around today. I ran errands and was out all day today. I'm pooped. <laughs> yeah, I was doing inventory today, cleaning out boxes and stuff. I could have I could have been in the room with my recliner, but I was up and down, up and down. Sorting out boxes and all of that. I want to get to the place where I can sew because there's quite a few sewing things that I want to do. I see them when I'm cleaning out. Becky says, no problem. Mary Lou says, tomorrow I have to make sure I have my milk, bread, and wine in case Hurricane Henry comes to visit. Well, you better be sure you have water and, and uh, meds and shoes <laughs> in case you have to run. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ray says, yay, Mary. Good evening. Hi, Riri. Sharon Marlowe. Becky says, the carpet has to go, too. Becky said, I opened up the Fibsville room several times today, but everyone must have been busy. I decided I should be, too. Hence the reason for me to be out of the bonus room. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably, unless you have, you know, unless you say, okay, I'm going to be here and then be there. Um... You know, it's hard to know. It's hard to uh, know when people can come, if you know what I'm saying. So I I was doing inventory all day today, cleaning out boxes. And what I'm, what I'm doing is I've got the little closet over to my left here. And I want to clean all that out. And I want to paint my boxes all one color. Uh, Tanya painted a box, just a cardboard box. And I want to paint them all one color, maybe a white. I'm going to go to the hardware store and get some white paint. And at least paint the sides so that when I stack them up, 
they'll look decent. And then I'm going to number them and put them in that little craft room that I clean out. <sighs> it's a big job. And then the, the things that I use a lot, you know, like when I'm working on my current projects, like the summertime journal and the caboodles and all of that, the little dolls that I'm working on, those those will be in one box for me to get to pretty easy. Let's see. Me too, Mary Julie says. Heather says, see you soon, Barbara. Barbara said good night. Sharon Marlowe says, you're lucky you two know how to fix it, Becky. It would cost you a fortune to go to a garage. What happened with Becky? Becky said she needs some water. I'm just scrolling back reading chat. Barbara says, wonderful being with you, Mary, and all your peeps in chat. I'm signing off now. Wishing you all a good evening. Good night, Barbara, Barbara. Mm -hmm. Becky says, the stupid car needs a new alternator. So we will be doing things here at home instead of going up to North Carolina tomorrow. Oh, oh, that stupid car <laughs> alternator. Isn't the alternator what keeps the battery juiced up, revved up? I don't know too much about car engines. Sharon says, we have a crafting hunting team. If you get into, get lost, Barbara. <laughs> uh, Becky said, I would if I could. I promised I would help get it's straightened out and organized. Oh, let's see what Be Becky's talking about. Becky dropped a link. Oh, yeah. Vicki Brown, Messy Table Studio. That's who I was thinking of. Yeah. I hung out with her and Gina and uh, Cindy Utter and all those a couple years ago. And she sent some happy mail. And she sent this folder. And it's been sitting in a box for a couple of years and I thought well it's perfect to store these ransom letters in envelopes so I'm gonna use it I'll think of Vicki every time I use it Vicki was a cook at one time I believe I believe Vicki Brown used to work in a restaurant or was a cook I think she knows a lot about food uh, de -de 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 -de. Sharon Marlowe says, Oh, Lori, that's why I call you sweet, Lori. Mitzi, Mitzi, it's such a sweet young lady. I've really gotten to know her, Lori says. Such a special friend. Yes, Mitzi is really a sweet lady. I like her a lot. Okay, I think I'm caught up with chat up there. Let's see what's going on. Sharon's here. Hi, Sharon. Yeah, Vicki is a chef. Thank you, Janet. Yes, Riri, we do, but it's hot here in this room, Angie says. Mary Lou says, that file is a good place for those letters. Yes, it is. I think so. I think it's a perfect a perfect solution for my ransom letters. <laughs> Vicki says, how appropriate that you're storing ransom letters in my folder. <laughs> she has the laugh that'll knock you over. The first time I heard her laugh. <laughs> it was perfect. There's a there's a journal spot. When you live as an artist, you are always studying the world around you and trying to interpret what you see. Did I welcome you in, Sharon Lombard? Welcome, Sharon. I don't know if I welcomed you in. Welcome, welcome. She says hi to everyone. Yeah, Becky was talking to Mary Lou. She says, I like how you included the wine. <laughs> I told her to get bottled water. She didn't listen. A, M and S have to come down. I don't have a whole lot of letters. It shouldn't be that hard to sort these out. Let's just take a pile of them here. Here's another journal spot. Here's a D. Here's a journal spot. That's an E. Another E, an M, another D, an I. 
probably down in here. So they're all different sizes. That's just a little. Here's a C. E, F, F, G, H, I, P, M, O, N, O, P, oops, they're blowing off my hand here. There's an E, D, E, F, G, time. Big memories, here's an R, R, O, O, P, M, N, O, P, R, S, is that a, what letter is that, M, M, N, O, P, there's another S, that's an R, a J, I, J, K, L, there's an A, well, it's taken longer than I thought. Here's a T, J, K, L, S, T, T, F. It's like working a puzzle almost. There's another T. R S T. Is that an F? E F. There's an N. An F. T. There are a lot more here than the, than it feels like. Here's a, could be an M or a W. We're going to make a W. There's a quote, a quote, an H. Isn't this fun? I, I. There's a big old E. E. A quote or a journal, an M, an R, P Q R, is it I that fell down? J I, an M. Fans blowing them. a journal spot, an R, an S. Mary, move on. I can hear you guys saying it. A C, A, B. What's that? C, what's this? That's an O. An E. An O. R. Another E. An O. A C. A B C. Hi, Susan. Popo. Welcome, welcome, Popo. There's an A. I'm sorting out ransom letters. That we cut these out of magazines to make journal words. And I'm going to file them here. T U V. That's a D. I thought that was a P. I'm going to make that a P because I don't have any P's. U V W. There's a Y. W X Y Z Y. There's a word. Ah! An A. An I. A W. An R. 
I'm probably putting you guys to sleep. And N and N and S. What are you up to tonight, Popo? What are you working on? Are you? Don't sneeze. <laughs> Okay, I'll try not to sneeze. My brother will come in here and sneeze, and that'll be the end of it. He's in bed tonight, though. He he goes to bed early. He goes to bed early. I don't have any bees. S. Come one, come all. H. Is that the H? That's an E. R. E's and R's and D's. I have a lot of A's. I've got quite a few of O. O O O O O O O N. Or that could be a U. T U. <laughs> One little U. There's an O. A B C. E. Uh, that could be an I or an L. We'll make it an L. There's another big O. Can I put it on the underneath? Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Be here. I'm about through these. I've got some more over there, though. L. Uh, hopefully, I'm inspiring somebody to cut ransom letters and file them away. I got inspired by... I J K one K. I got inspired by Tanya. K N. Tanya McGuire's fault that I'm doing this. D E. Hi Cheryl. Welcome Cheryl. Angie's. Those young little ones are so blessed to have you in their lives. Aww. Now, what would that be awful <laughs> yeah, if I sneeze? I'll turn my head if I sneeze. Cheryl says, my granddaughters are growing up with pictures. I have to, I have not seen them in front of me since February of 2020. Oh, that has to be hard. I know I haven't seen my, well, I saw my grandniece. I've seen her a couple times in the past year, but I don't get to see her a whole lot. My my brother sees her a lot more than I do. K. K. Y. W. Y. Whoops, what happened to the Y? It flew away. I had it there. There's Y. I don't know if that was the same one. C. Oh, it's in my hand. Y. O. Yeah, they started school last week. I'm sitting there going, already? T U B E. I think I would rebel if I had to go to school in the middle of August. That would have been before my birthday. No, I think it would have been on my birthday. T. I think she started the school on my birthday. I think that's a little E. D E. And O. O. L. I'm just about done with this handful. That's just a scrap. An H. Oh, we don't have too many more to go. We have some though. Most of these are, are words. Those are easy. There's an A, a D, an E, a word, M, N, an I, I. What's that? I think that's another I earn an L. I think that's a T. S T U T. And there's a G. Not very many G's either. 
Ah, a tea to you. An N, an E, an A, R, S, R, L. I'm calling that a P. An E, a word, an E. This is taking longer than I thought. Sorry about that. I'm not quitting now. I'm almost done. An A, an I, H, I, M, N, N flew away. A W. We're going to call that a W. N. D. An A. There's quite a few here. Oh, do 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 do. R S T. Janet says, hello to everyone coming in. Thank you, Janet, for greeting everybody. Hi, Rachel. Sharon, what a lovely surprise in the mail today. You are so talented. Aw. Um, Rachel, I saw you. I think it was you who left a comment uh, when I did that antique haul and we, we were in the antique store. And you left a comment, H.I., I think it was you who left the comment to say, we saw those silhouette, those glass silhouettes uh, pieces, and I was saying how they have curved glass on them. And you said uh, an idea to do them was to take some packaging. You know, and uh, like clear plastic packaging. And that's a really good idea. Well, it doesn't even have to be curved, you know. Sometimes that packaging comes flat, you know, flat in a little piece that way. And you could paint a silhouette on that and, uh, that's an I, and put a background in the background. That was really a good suggestion. I thank you for it. I wrote it down. <laughs> She's saying hello to everybody out there. Yes, it was. I just thought it was so lovely and something that, yeah, that would be, well, you know, and that wouldn't be, silhouettes are not hard to do. And, you know, whoops, you don't even have to draw them. You could paint a silhouette. You could make a silhouette out of, out of a picture, you know, just paint over the picture. Hey. I got some alpha loose alphabets here. O H I I'm gonna call that an L. I those are all words. A B C D E F G <laughs> H I J K L M N O P Q, R, S, and T, U, V, W, X, and Y, and Z. Now I said my ABCs. Aren't you very proud of me? I haven't sang that in a long time. I had to finish it. I had to finish it. There's another E. Whoops, that's an E. Not an F. E. F. G. B. One B. I have one B. That's unusual. Why do I have more than one B? One B and one P. I 
this I'm going to have to watch for more B and P's. H E E I quite a few eyes. Oh, oh. 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 Well, there's a B. Those could be P's. E, F, G, 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 G. A. E. M. U. I didn't realize I had so many. I guess when they're all stacked up, you know, they doesn't look like a whole lot till you get to separating them. And then all of a sudden, there are a lot of them here. W. A. I think that's an I. I. An A. What's in my hand there? An S. An A. Oh. <laughs> Gotta be careful. An E. There's a Y. No Z's yet. I guess you can make Z's out of N's. That's just a period. We'll put that with the journal spots. And O. Those O's are all the same. T. There's another O. A T. Come on. There's an S, a T, a T, an L. I'm getting there. I know. Sorting is boring. But I'll have it all sorted. Won't you be proud of me? E. H. R. And R. F. I. A lot of eyes. There's a D. O. E. T. I think that's supposed to be a, I don't know what that is, that's a scrap. G. I. Y. We don't have any Z's. E. Yet. M. A. F. A. to my finger okay so remember to keep Janet in your prayers she says that uh, Hurricane Henry is coming her way and Lord there's a Z I found a Z Lori does that mean you're up in the East Coast so are you Cheryl how are you guys doing with Hurricane Henry are you guys in the path? Janet says she's right smack dab in the path of it. Are you guys getting prepared? Mary Lou, Loopy, Auntie Loopy is getting prepared with her bottle of wine and a loaf of bread. I told her she better get her some bottled water. <laughs> D. S. L. Uh, w. L. R. 
is this boring or what? Mary, 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 making you guys sit here and watch me sort out ransom letters. Mary, 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 Mary. Can't you do anything more creative than that? There's an Anne. I have just a few more. I'll probably be finding them all over my floor tomorrow. In fact, I had, I had done this before, sorted out a bunch of ransom letters, and I sorted them out in a needlework tray. And I went to move the needlework tray, and it fell. <laughs> it fell all over the floor. <laughs> I've never sorted out letters since then. And R. This is the last handful. N. Whoops. What happened to it? We got some E. S. H. I think that happened up in Wisconsin, so it's been several years since I've done this. E. I. A. T. Oh, there's another Z. R S T P. There's a Z. Woohoo! I got two Z's. We could call that a Z, but I think that's an N. We'll call it a Z just for the fun of it. M. Y. K. Y. E. Y. And I'll be cutting more of these. I do like to sit and cut these out. It takes some time. You know, but I was throwing away mag. There's an X. By golly, there's an X. X Y W X Y Z. It takes some time, and I was throwing away magazines that that I didn't want anymore, like Better Homes and Garden and stuff like that. I don't keep those around. I don't know what that is. A J or an L, maybe. Uh, T. Did I drop one? Uh, I. E. I'm getting there. It won't be long now. E. F. S. L. F. I think this is an M. G. O. It's another. Oh, no Q's. No Q's. Q. You don't find very many Q words in magazines. You have to make your own Q. E. We're going to call that an L, though. Oh. Another O. 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 A lot of O's in this handful. E. Or I'm coming down to the home stretch. O I C S S A I Yes. Don't sneeze. Don't sneeze. Is a F M. What that is? 
I think that's a dash. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. T. I dropped one. An O. An H. Oh. H went flying. H. An S. I'm getting there. Almost done. A D. An R. An R. And a period. A T. Whoops. An R. An S. Woohoo! A T. An R. An E. An A. An A. And a scrap. All right. Woo, that took a lot. Let's see what's going on in chat. Allie K says, that looks fun, Mary. I'd love to do it, but I know I would never use the letters. You'd never write a ransom letter? You'd never do a journal spot with these? Tanya uses these a lot in her, well, like when she does scenes. And and um, I don't know if she does them on journal pages or not, but... I've seen Tanya use ransom letters a lot. All right, let's put the A's away. If and I can get these out. I might have to do it in a couple hands here. I think I'll use them. I think I'll use them. I'll probably cut more. A, A, E got in the way here. E goes over here. Uh, well, I guess I'll do it this way. A, A, put a little lick them on my finger here. A, all right, there are the A's. File the A's away. And let's do the B's. A couple B's. Don't have very many B's. Two or three B's. We'll have to find more B's. At least I'll have them in separate envelopes. So hopefully if I want to spell a word. And if I can't find a letter, I can always make it or... or uh, Go to another magazine and see if I can find it. There's C. You guys are being good to me. Sitting and watching me do this. 43 of you watching me do this. Allie K says, that's too bad. Dee Dee and family are in my prayers. Yeah. We'll have to send her cards. Well, you know, our parents have to go at some time. I dreamt about my mother the other night. Was it right before? Was it Tuesday night? There's a T. What's a T doing in there? These. I was, I was in a car and I was driving. And my mother was sitting in the rider's seat. This was my dream. Because I used to take my mother a lot for rides and stuff when, when she lived with me. That's an N. And uh, I. And, but we ended up, the car wouldn't go forward. It would only go backwards. <laughs> And I couldn't get it to stop. And it was going faster and faster and faster. And I go, oh no, we're going to crash. And I go, I hope there's nobody coming because I can't stop. 
I could I said I tried turning off the engine I tried doing the brakes I couldn't get that car to stop and finally it turned into this cave like thing there's another E it turned into oh that's an E what happened what did I do that's F here's E's here um, finally you know I went through several down several roads and we miraculously went into this cave-like thing and it didn't crash it just stopped and uh, we were okay but we had a call for help and we were sitting there in this cave-like and it was a welcome center it turned out to be a welcome center in the cave <laughs> and you know, I was looking for a phone to where we could call to have somebody come and fix our car. <laughs> There's an L. And then I, that's all I remember of it. I don't know if anybody had ever come. I think somebody, I think I, there was food in that dream. So we might have had a lunch. Uh, that's all I remember. Something about food. And we were sitting there waiting for the repairman to come in that the a welcome center in a cave it must have been a touristy area that we turned into or something but it was the car was going backwards and i was i was looking i was in the driver's seat looking backwards and trying to keep the car on the road and i was at the driver's seat i was the i was the driver scary huh <laughs> I'm a pretty good driver though. I learned how to drive at a, a young age. I think I was 14. They had learner's permits at 14 in Nebraska when I was young. And I think I learned from my mom um, on country roads. But the car always went forward. <laughs> I don't remember ever driving the car backwards. For miles and miles we 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 wound up in a i don't see any j's in here no j's we wound up in a cave that's an i oh there is a j one j one j well we'll put it in the envelope i'll probably won't n never find it in there I'll put it in my big envelope, this little J. It's in there. I guess, no, I can't even hold it up to the light because these are security envelopes. Okay. I'll have to do some more ransom letters. I don't know if I'll have time this weekend. I knocked all those around. Okay. Well, maybe this will inspire you guys to somehow get organized. Organize something in your life. It doesn't have to be alphabet. I saw a lot of things. A lot of things that I either got at the auctions or um, was sent to me in happy mail. A lot of things I want to use. But because I never know where they are, now at least I am putting them in boxes, but I'm making a list of what's in each box. So, you know, sometimes if I want to do something, other than playing the Blast Bash Your Stash game, just say I want to do something, like tonight I'm going to junk journal, um... You know, I can just go look at my list and say, oh, I'll use that. And we're just, we're almost there. We're on O. Uh-oh, what happened to O? Uh, did I put in under P? I did. There are quite a few O's. That surprised me. What's this little letter? That's an O. one little P. <laughs> I didn't find very many P's. And I don't think I found any Q's. Oh, 
One little P and one little J. I think that P really is a D. It could be P. No Q. We're on R. We're getting there. Have patience. Have patience. R. Hi, Suze. Welcome, Suze. Bye, Laura. Thanks for popping in, Laura. And thanks for the antiquing money, the birthday money. That was nice of you to do that. Laura. There's an S's. I'm getting there. I'm about done. We'll move on. T. A few U's. And a couple V's. You the most people when they do ransom notes just go get an old magazine. But me you know, people like Tanya and myself, we get prepared for our ransom notes. <laughs> W Oh, thank you, Barbara. Thanks for part popping in, Barbara Clark. Have a good weekend. Barbara Clark. And let's see who else is who am I missing? Angie says, good night to all that's leaving. X, Y, Z. Let's do the Y's. Yeah, it just works better if I do it this way. Y. And X, Y, We've got a few Z's. One of them looks like an N on its side. Alrighty. X, Y. Z. And then the journal spots. X, Y, Z. And let's do the journal spots. Really, these are words. I usually put these in a in a fussy cut, but we'll keep these in here. Journal spots for now. I might want one when I'm hunting for words. Okay, I've got some extras here. That's oh, those are the whoops. That's a W. Oh, I'll throw that away. Cut cut in half. And what's this? Scrappy. So I got a W here and a S. All right, hold the phone. Time to get away. Yes, we're really that different. <laughs> All right, we'll put those in there. And I think I'm at the end of the road here. Yay! Let's pile my... Oh, look. What's this? Escape. Escape. Let's put it in here. Escape. Let me put it in there. W. W, X, Y, Z. Hold the phone. Be patient. Be patient. And the S. I 
All righty. Uh, I've got them all filed, sorted out and filed. So now I can cut more. I think this system's going to work for me. So thank Vicki Brown for my folder here. Messy Table Studio. I think that's the name of her. And Janet had dropped a link to it. All done. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. She hasn't done numbers yet. <laughs> no, I haven't. That's true. There's no room in there for numbers. I'll have to find something else for the numbers. All right, we're going to do a list. We're going we're gonna to name that doll. Let me get the doll out. We're going to name the doll that Lori Pink Girly. Don't say any names till I get a paper and pencil out. You can look at her. <laughs> and what was it the other doll that we named? And what was it? What doll did I do? Oh, the... And uh, Janet named her Maisie. So we already have a doll named Maisie. I can't remember the doll that, I named, that we named Maisie. Isn't that horrible? All right, wait, wait, wait. Don't say any names till I get some paper. I've got to get some paper. Oh, wow. We'll put her over here so you guys can see her. Oh, there's a C. Oh, don't tell. I'm going to throw it away. I've got plenty of C's. Yeah, Sue so says A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yes, Messy Table Studio. Thank you, Janet. Uh, I don't know what she's doing now, but when I knew her, she did a lot of doodling. She was real good with doodles. And she's the one who got me started doing Carb December. I have card stamps before, but I never did a Carb December. All right. I think that was around 2017. Oh, and I pulled out the... No, that'll work. All right. So, I'm going to do name that doll. And this is one, uh, one, eight, twenty, twenty, twenty-one. And this is the doll that Lori gave me. I think these are supposed to be little braids or little pigtails. She looks like she might be a Maisie, but we already named a doll. Which doll did we name Maisie, Janet? I forget. Did you call her Becky? <laughs> Or are you just talking to Becky? All right. ABC, ABC, Mary, Mary, please don't sneeze. <laughs> ABC, ABC, Mary, Mary, please don't sneeze. Is that, a, is that a poem, Cheryl? Should I write that down? ABC, ABC, Mary, Mary. You always get my name in there. Mary, Mary, please don't sneeze. <laughs> no sneeze. And we'll put music notes here. And that's Cheryl Johnson. My pen is going dry. Oh, I have a whole bucket of pens. I have a whole bucket of pins that I need to go through. You didn't even want to see them. Bye, Jeannie. Did you, Jeannie, which Jeannie's leave? Oh, this is that broken pin. This one, this pin is weird. It, it was weird when I got it. Well, hold it. I have to find a decent pin to write with. Let's try this one. And or we might try one of those bold ones if that fails. All right. Hi, Samantha. All right, I need names. I'm ready. Name that doll. Rainbow. Ooh, good choice. Good name. 
Rainbow. I like that one already. Rainbow. Lily Bell or Emma Jean or Mauve. Lily Bell. Lily. L-I-L-L-Y Bell. Emma. This pen is dry too. I should throw these pens away. I don't want to throw them away though. I'm stingy. Emma or Mauve. M-A-U-V-E. Okay. Hi, Darla. Darla, Lori gifted this to me. Lori Paint Girl did this in her doll stream. And she sent it to me. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. She has such a gift of painting, of painting faces. Just beautiful. See mine above, Becky says. Hi, Samantha. Let's see. What did Becky say? Ellie Mae Daisy. Ellie Mae. E-L-L-I-E Mae. Is that all one word? Ellie Mae Daisy? Or is that... Is that two words? Two names. Thank you, Becky. Rosie. R O. If I miss your your name, say it again. Blossom. We're gonna let Random Org pick. Pixie. Ooh, I like that one too. I like them all. Pixie. These are good names. Clarabelle. 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 Mary. See Becky's. Ellie Mae Daisy. I got it. Mob. Pronounce Mavy. Oh, pronounce Mavy. Uh. May. May. M A Y. M A Y. <laughs> M A Y. Mavy. Oh, that's pretty. Maybe. I never knew that's how you pronounce that. I always pronounce it mauve. Maybe. Megan Rose. M-E-A-G-A-N. Megan Rose. Oh, what a girl. <laughs> Girly. Girly, G I R L I E. Lola, uh, Emma Jean, Daisy. We got Ellie Mae Daisy, and then we got Daisy, Dixie Mae. Sunny and Painter. Sunny? S U N N Y A N N E Painter. We're only going to do two pages. So when I get to the bottom of. Well, no, let's get some more paper. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump up here. More like a stand up and reach. Oops, there goes the tape. But my desk is getting cleaner. I have to tell you, my desk, that computer desk behind me is getting much cleaner. All right, I left off with Sunny May Daisy. Uh, or Sunny Ann Painter, I'm sorry. Lily. L-I-L-Y. Let's put this back behind this. No. No. Sunny and bright. Did I get painter? I thought I saw... Sunny and bright. Sunny and bright. Okay. B R I G H T. Got it, Janice. Hi, Janice. Welcome. Hi, Debbie Paints. Welcome. 
Millie, M I L L E. Daisy Ray. You guys like Daisy. Does she look like a Daisy? Daisy Ray. She's sounding like a Southern girl. She is. Actually, I think she came from New Jersey. <laughs> I think Lori's from New Jersey, if I remember right. My two helpers, Debbie Paints, said, says, came up with those. Lily, and what was the other one, Debbie? Did I miss? Oh, Millie. Millie and Lily. Millie and Lily, are you two helpers? <laughs> Megan Rose, Olivia... Maybe. Olivia, maybe? Do we have a Olivia? We got maybe. We got... All right. We'll put Olivia. And this is the same one. Now, are you pronouncing it maybe, too? M-A-U-V-E? I still like rainbow, <laughs> Angie says. Ilsa. I-L-S-A. All right. Let's stop. Stop! Stop! Uh, Elsa is the last one. Stop! Because <laughs> I'm going to number these, and we're going to ask Random Org to help us choose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, and we're going to be, we're going to settle with what Random Ward chooses, but that doesn't mean that uh, we can't give her a middle name. I might choose her middle name depending on what the first name is. 18, 19, we have exactly 20. Ooh, that's pretty cool. All right, let's go back out to Random Org. Oh, Mina put in Lucille. Lucille and Grace. All right, stop, though. 21 and 22. Lucille. And what was the other one? Grace. We are cutting images out of magazines while we watch Debbie Says. Oh, cool. One of my favorite things to do. Debbie. <laughs> All right. We're not going to do that tonight, though. We're going to go out to random org here. Do, 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 If I can figure out where I put my browser. And we might be there. No, we were doing a search on something or other. Oh, one tone paintings. That was my last search on here. Let's go to sequence generator. Let's see if it takes me there and go back. All right, between 1 and 22. Back, 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 and 2, 2. All right, so we're going to do the sequence number generator. And between 1 and 22, we're going to get sequence. And the top number will be her first name. And depending on what the first name is, I'll pick this the middle name. So get sequence. And, oh, the top one is two, which is Lily Bell. Who said Lily Bell? Lily Bell. Was that you, Lori? Lily Bell. Hi, Lily Bell. Glad to meet you. <laughs> she says, Yes, I am Lily Bell. <laughs> All right, Mary, quit playing with your dollies. You're a grown lady. <laughs> so, I do like that, Lily Bell. Who picked Lily Bell? Lily Bell is her name. So it was two L I L L I B E L L Y B E L L E. All right, let me go back out to chat here. Who picked, own up to it, who picked, Lori did. So Lori named her Lily Bell. Now I do, I'm partial to Rainbow. 
So she is going to be Lily Bell Rainbow. <laughs> That's her name. Lily Bell Rainbow. Aw, she's so cute. I'm going to put her up by Felticia. You know, I have a nice little collection going here. This was, this felted doll was done by Sharon Lombard, and she gifted her to me. And we did a, a, a list of names like we did tonight, and Randy Moore picked Felticia. Felticia was actually suggested by Becky, Aunt Bex Creations, and... I picked the middle name of, no, he picked the, the second one was Rose. So she is Felticia Rose. We didn't name the little bead doll. And uh, this is Lily Bell Rainbow. <laughs> I'm going to have to to put them, well, I've been having Felticia up here on the, on the desk away from everything. I'll put Lily Bell with her. <laughs> what am I going to do with all these dolls? My brother's going to think that I've gone into a, my second childhood. <laughs> All right. So how about doing some of that junk journaling I said I was going to do? So what I'm going to do first is oh, take apart this calendar and fold the pages in half. And I think it's stapled here. And do I have my staple remover? I either have it in here or I put it back in the drawer. I might have put it back in that drawer. I might just end up using my scissors. Let's get rid of all these ink pens. They're in my way. Let's see if my staple remover is in here. I tried to keep that staple remover right here in this drawer, but I used it once and there it went. It did not get put back. So let me just use my scissors. Hold on. If it got put back, it's not in the same spot. I don't see it in here. <gasps> Wait, here it is. Yay! I just had to hunt a little bit more. It was not in the same spot where I usually keep it. I'll put it back in the same spot. All right. Let's take apart. This is a nineteen or uh, a twenty twenty Lang Country Living calendar. Lang is in Waukesha, Wisconsin, and I actually have driven by their headquarters several times when I lived up there in Wisconsin. On the way to Milwaukee, you go by Waukesha, and when I first moved up there. They had some antique uh, shows, and they, let me tell you, they were real antiques. It was way out of my, it was way out of my flea market range, price range. But it was fun to go look. Oops, did I, there's a center one here. And I didn't put that back, huh? Make me put this back. Put the staple remover back, Mary, after you're done with it. But they have some cool, some pretty cool buildings that they were ha housed in. Now, whether they're still there or not, I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. I'll probably step on it later. There it is. Let me throw that away so I don't step on it with my bare feet. Now, I'm going to move Penelope off of here or I'll be knocking her off. So... This is the cover, and this is pretty, this is pretty strong. I'm going to hold that back, and we're just going to, the, all the pages are pretty thick, and yes, I do think I'm going to tear them in half. Mary, I am. I'm going to tear them in half, and then I'm going to fold them in half, and yeah, some of the numbers will be upside down because that's the way they that's the way the ball bounces if you want either the house is going to be upside down or the numbers are going to be upside down but I'm going to make a junk journal out of some of this at least 
I might have to have some more pages because I got a lot of junk. <laughs> I got a lot of junk. I got more than this journal will hold. Oh, there's an H. <laughs> I'll be finding letters. I probably need a couple more calendars. Well, we probably will not bind this tonight. Oops, I tore it wrong there. Uh, because maybe I will. I do have some more calendars around here. So I'll get it started tonight. Oh, Lily May Rainbow. Yay, Cheryl says. You'll paint over them, so no biggie. Yeah, I think the numbers... Now, some of them will be... No. Yeah, I think the numbers will be upside down. But, you know, I could get mischievous and, you know, cut a window, cut a square out or cut, cut a quilt out and then turn the number right side up. We could play with doing something like that. We'll see. But all the numbers will probably be upside down. Oops. <laughs> now, I have seen people make junk journals where they'll take and split the pages like this. And then they'll put the, uh, well, this is, happens to be the inner page there. They'll put the pictures together like this. And, and uh, this is a pretty big calendar. They'll put all the, num the letters on the inside. And, but it's a smaller, it's also a smaller journal. And then they'll seal it around three edges and have a pocket. And then they flip it this way and they have pictures on both sides. I've seen that happen, but this count these calendars are awfully big. So we'll just have upside down numbers. We could, you know what we could do here? I don't know, could we? Yeah, we could do, we could journal this side, skip these pages, and journal this side. You know, I'll be putting stuff on here. Skip these, and then when we get to the end, flip it over, and then do these pages. That's what I'll do. And then these will be upside down. And my 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 pages will be upside down. There's a there's a name for that kind of a book. I'll call it a flip flop book. Uh, and this this will go this this way, I guess. This this will have to go at the toward the back. One of one of the back or inner sheets, something like that. What is Lang? What do they make or sell? Allie K. Lang is in Wisconsin. They make all sorts of, I don't know if they're in business anymore. Surely they are. Because they make calendars, they made all sorts of home decor, um and notepads, greeting cards. Um, a lot of Lang greeting cards, kind of primitive art, but they also uh, have, like, when, that first year I was up in Wisconsin was 2003, so probably around 2004 they had an antique show of real live antiques range. Think of a high range antique show that you would go to back east or something. I felt so out of place there. It was way out of my range. It may not have been way out of other people's ranges, but I didn't have that much money to spend. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they do, uh, they do home decor. They do notepads and greeting cards. And, and I think they did some dolls at one time, too. Um, home decor, like... Uh, signs and you know that type of thing signs meaning painted signs backwards forwards flippy floppy book thank you Allie K backward forwards flippy floppy book that's what this is gonna be only it will be a flippy floppy art journal that's what we'll call this my flippy floppy art journal I'm not going to bind this right away. 
because I can see it growing very thick. Or I could make one art journal. Well, I might find another calendar. We'll see what else. I know I have some more calendars that can be torn up. Some of them I got. We had an office supply store here locally. Not the, not the grocery department store that went out of business. But this office supply store, it was just a local concern they served local customers and you could walk in there and do prints and buy office supplies and everything but they took the retail part of the store down and uh, they just serve business customers now so I can't go in there and get prints or photos and stuff like that not that I did a whole lot of it, but when they took it down, they had a lot of the stuff on sale. And I think that's where I got this calendar. And I wish I would have been smarter back then. <laughs> hindsight, hindsight, because they had a lot of ledgers for sale. Ledger pages more than hardbound ledgers. A lot of ledger pagers. And I wish I would have bought them. But no, I didn't. So this is a countryside, kind of country themed. And yeah, let's, we're going to call this a flippy floppy backward forward art journal. And let's see, I think I have enough for probably two signatures. That's probably about as big as I want it to get. All right, so, and then we got the cover here. This is the front, and it's got a hole in it, and it's got a hole there. How convenient. And this is the back cover. So we'll put that as the inside. No, I think I'll just fold it by its... No. Let's... How do I want to do this? I don't think I could make it go around both. It won't... It's... By the time these are all folded, this won't fit around both. And I don't want to cut it. However, this won't. Maybe this will be the wraparound. We'll make a wraparound out of this. Somehow. I don't want to cover that up. It goes like that. If I put this front, this picture will be upside down. <laughs> oh, that's okay. We'll make this a wrap. wrap or I could just do it like now. And we'll just make this a wrap around. We'll make it a wrap around like this. Just like that. Artwork by Colleen Eubanks and Mary Abrams. <laughs> All right, so there's the journal. How easy was that? We just had to fold it up. Now we got to get the junk out. <laughs> That's the hard part. Let's put this up here. I've got several bags here um well some bags of stuff just odds and ends like here's some fabric washi tape i'm not going to undo it we'll just here's some well this is that pattern paper this isn't fabric this is the pattern pattern paper washi tape here's a bag of envelopes Here's just a scrap of paper. Here's these. These will be nice to put in here. I want to make some, I'm going to take some paper dolls and make paper doll embellishments. I painted a whole bunch of these coin envelopes. 
Well, I don't even know if they're coin envelopes. I don't know where I got these. But I drew, I painted in brass and silver, and this was when I was playing with the fine line paint applicator, and I was doing all that blacky lace around there. These are my better ones. But I never put them down in my art journal because to keep the flap, you know, this way I'd have to glue them down and I'd cover up my deal unless I just used the flap as a tuck. So what I think I'll do is make a, put a paper doll on here and just make paper doll embellishments out of these. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So that's what I was planning for those. And let's see. I have odds and ends like a Crayola. I got an owl stamp thing when I was carving those owls. And by the way, Artsy Nancy Wannabe, I call her Artsy Nancy, uh, she passed away. And I had carved a stamp for her, an owl stamp. And I still have that owl stamp. So sometime, maybe in October, I'll give that stamp away. And Lori has the other, Lori Montana has the other owl stamp. What else do I have in here? I have a black stick that came with Rosemary's Santos doll. It was an extra one, a square. I got a eyeglass lens. <laughs> and you don't see, it doesn't magnify unless you hold it away from everything. So I'm not sure how what I'm going to do with that. And here's a Saturine Fussy Cut, a Crayola wrapper. See, I don't throw this stuff away. I got these out of the Mary Jane magazines. This is just a fussy cut of a clip. A piece of... I might end up making a cluster out of some of these things here. A piece of plaid. What's this? This is a... <laughs> uh, spice shaker lid. And... This is part of a magazine... It looks like a beaded necklace. I just pulled out what was in the bottom of this bag. Here's a Crayola and a little bag. So maybe we'll put those fussy cuts in that little bag. And the Okay, so that's out of this. And then I got this envelope. Which will eventually go into a journal, but I don't think I'll put it in. Unless I make tags or something out of it. But I'm just going to keep it as it is for now. Then I've got this stuff. Some of this stuff I'm going to use for the beaded dolls. Like, here's some beads. This, I figure autumn is coming up. I got some fall paper, little mini paper cups, paper cupcake things. I think this is mostly for beads and stuff. This is uh, sequins, fall confetti. And I think I got them a couple years ago for ATCs or something, to glue on ATCs. But I thought autumn is coming up here, so I saved. I don't think this is a bag I'm going to use. But, oh, look, there's a letter T. What is this? There's the letter T. Here's a, looks like a box with a letter or something in it. Here's some more jewelry. That's it for my doll things. Here's some more beads. These are all for my dolls. These are all in the bottom of boxes. Here's some baggies. Here's a scrap of paper. That'll go in there. And here's some bead things. That's, that probably won't go in there. Here's a ruffled flower. And oh look, here's some rusty bobby pins. I don't know if I'll use them or in here or not. I was saving those for my rust start journal. Oh, this is just one bag of many. There's some more bags in there. So these over here I'm going to put back in. 
and I'm not going to use, I might use that. I'm going to keep these out. I'm going to sort out stuff to put in that journal. We're going to do a couple pages tonight. What time is it? It's. I'm not going to go any later than, well, I'm going to try to get off at 1030. But if I don't make it at 1030, I will sign off at 11. Because I'm trying to not go all night. <laughs> all right. I have a paper doll, some thread, some more of those fall paper cu cupcake things. Oh, this was a, this goes in, some of this I'm saving back. I was in a paintbrush swap with Gina and Cindy and a couple of those. And these are the paint brushes that I swapped out, that I got back. I had those in a jar. And they fell out, and I put them in a box, and there they are. What else do I have here? These go for Penelope. I got two boxes of pins at that liquidation store. Here's a journal spot. Perfect for your special occasion. I'm going to save those out. And I got some beading wire. Some of this stuff I'm... I'm not going to use. Here's some bobbins. See, I was sorting. And this was stuff I didn't want to, this stuff I'm holding back, was stuff that I didn't want to put in a box and forget about. So this, this stuff will go back in the bag. This is not art journal stuff. But I'm getting there. Hold on. This is a little memo book. I think I got this from Jerry Bellini when I was still hanging out with her little antique. It's got all sorts of numbers in it, written in it. Some are upside down and some are right side up. I was going to do something with that. I, I forget what I paid for that. Here's some sewing needles. These are just things I did not want to. I'm going to save these out. These are little Brass embellishments. I might do something with those. Here's a big old red button I got. Where did I get that? That was at the liquidation sale too. Here's a napkin piece. I didn't throw it away. Here's some ATCs that I made. I think I made these in Madison. Round ATC coins. Uh, Christmas ones. Here's one I got back in. 18, no, I think that was on a paintbrush. I think this was on one of those paintbrushes. I'm not going to put it there. Here's a wooden fairy. We might stamp with that. Those go in here. Here's a couple of stars. So this is stuff up here that I might use in the journal. This stuff I'm saving back. Look, here's some titanium. I'm going to save those out. Blades. I think I had bought those and I lost them and now they're found again. I bought those others. Oh, yeah, I have some buttons and just loose stuff. Here's a pair. So we should do this some night too. You guys ever paint scissors? Did you ever paint scissors? This is a pair of painty scissors I did. I think I was still up in Madison. Looks like it's the tips there are. No, I guess that was painted. I did glaze it. <laughs> pair of painty scissors. I had those in with those paint brushes. I had it in a jar and I dropped the jar. And there's a ch Christmas charm I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm just pulling some stuff out to use in art journaling. Some of this stuff I'm, I'm is not for art journaling. Here's a, a tag, a paint tag. Here's a Allen's. I saved this. Today is, what day was this? I saved it for groceries, to, to make a list of groceries. 
Here's a little bead. I might do something with that. I did little paper beads out of wax paper strips that I had painted with metallic paint. And some more sequins. We can dump all that out. That all can be art journaled. And this and that. so this stuff is going back. This this all I'll, I'll find another home for it. Put those paint brushes back in my jar and put them up on my shelf. Hold the phone. Yes, I am going to put stuff down in my journal tonight. I don't know how much I'm going to get on there, but we'll get some. That varsity pen, I want to save out. This brush was done by Gina Ahrens. Create and inspire freely. Gina Ahrens, March of 2017. You amaze me. She's got gold sparkle paint on it. There's some Singer. I think I'll keep those out. I might. I don't know though if the Singer bobbins will fit my brother machine. I don't know. Class 15 bobbins. I'll have to ask an expert. They'll say, no, if I ask brother, they'll say, no, you have to buy brother bob bobbins. All right, I got one more bag here. This has more junky stuff in it, I think. Junky stuff. Paper. Paraphernalia. Some of this I got from... Uh, I think Jean, Jean Patton, or Judy, Judy Patton, who sent some stuff here just recently. There's some Goodwill tags. Glow, glow, glow. Here's a tag when I sh used to shop at Joann's. Boy, look at what I spent. What? Oh, I only spent $12. What did I buy? Something ladies black. Oh, I bought two black t-shirts. Deco art paint and sapphire white, Tuscan red, white, Tuscan red, saffron, ultra, ultra D it says. Holly green, whitewash, ultra D, oh I think that's ultra deep something or other. I bought double stick tape, one, two, three, four double stick tapes. And something called a DAPP bundle. Cost me... I think that was fabric. It cost me $9. Tim Holtz. It was a Tim Holtz fabric bundle. It cost me $9. I spent... Oh. No, my savings was twelve thirty-seven. I spent $41. When was that? I stopped shopping at Joann's. This was when I was still shopping. 18 December 6th of 2018. We'll save that just for the fun of it. And I have a fabric scrap here. I might get do something with that in my journal. What's this? Oh, uh, I think Dana sent me these. No, Diane, da Danny, Danny Coleman sent me these, not Dana. Danny Coleman sent me some tips for two ounce bottles and I never opened them. I'm going to try those. And these are ATC cards that I cut for my sunshine journal. They need to stay out. Mary's going to get all this junk out and then she won't know what to do with it. Some of this is recent stuff. Uh, here's a, I was saving, saving some stamps here. I'm going to take the addresses off. Throw the addresses away. I got some postage stamps. I got a map that came from, um, Beth Schuler. I think, sent me this map. Now, remember where this stuff comes from. This is a 
rice bag that come in the Trashanini, Trashanichi from Rosemary, and I never got it bound in there. We'll put it in my junk journal. There's a button. Some lace. Somebody gave me this lace. And I might just use it since I got it with all my stuff. And here's some more. And here's a Tim Holtz picture. I'm just about to the end. <laughs> oh, this is going to go in the Sunshine Journal. Popcorn. I eat a lot of this Jolly Time popcorn. I thought I would do a popcorn page. <laughs> I'll put it with my ATCs. i got to catch up on my Sunshine Journal. Here's some... My summertime journal. I was using this for a 4th of July page, but that'll go in there. Here's a 4th of July, just brick brack, an old tie that's pretty well lost its pull. It's pretty. I, I have never seen this plastic pull apart like that, that old, where it just pull, it, it no longer has any give to it. It's all pulled apart. I've never seen that. I suppose if I twisted it enough, it would still be good. Like that. I might save that. Here's some Santa Claus stamps. I'm not sure where I got those. These are forever stamps, I think. I think I'll save those. I don't think those will go in a junk journal. Here's some blank Rolodex cards. A note paper. Here's a yarn woolies yarn some more lace here's a doodle card i have several of those doodle cards not here though i might not save that one or i might too here's some white cellophane snowflake look at the junk i have this is double-sided tape a hat pin i should give that to my new doll, what did we call her? What was her name? Wait, I gotta get used to her name. I gotta look it up. Uh, Lily Bell. Lily Bell Rainbow. We'll, we'll put this hat pin on Lily Bell Rainbow. Let's get her out. She doesn't have a hat. <laughs> she says, but I don't have a hat. She matches so because she's pink. And then we'll save the tag for the junk journal. I got this at Hobby Lobby probably at one time or another. Gosh, I can't get it off. Uh, let me get my pliers. Uh, whoops. Look, I pulled it. Oh, maybe that's how it goes. Maybe it, this side pulls. Or did I pull it out? Did I break it? I think I broke it. I think I have to glue that back together. I thought this side was the side that pulls. Now I can't hold on to it. Well, we'll fool with that later. I'm getting sidetracked. Put my pliers away. I just got a few things left in here. This is my junk. Armchair travel. Carved little bees. Cards. There's a butterfly pattern that I did for um, Arlene's envelope, and I haven't got it sent yet. The envelope. Here's some ATCs. I think Becky sent me these. I'm not sure I'll use those in here. They're pretty. She sent me some ATC back. Somebody sent them to me. Here's a coin. Some Crayolas. Two little boys. Crayolas. Here's a scrap. Here's a pattern for a stamp that I did. Here's a little pocket that was supposed to hold earphones. I got here's an AARP card for my brother. <laughs> they he doesn't they send it to him to get him to join. He doesn't join. 
And I think I saved this out for my something on the other. I don't think I can. I think I'm going to use that on a journal. I could put that on the front. And here's a mattress pad that says, do not remove under penalty of law. Some scraps. And I'm at the end. So, this is, oh no, I'm not at the end. Here's a Verizon SIM card piece. SIM cards in my phone. This is just what it came on. Uh, here's an Amazon card. A receipt for Celestial Tea. Black Cherry Tea from Karen K. Here's a tag, Krylon tag. Here's a receipt for an oil change. Here's where they said, Dear all registered voters, please be advised that beginning with the elections for 2020 and all future elections, you will automatically be mailed a ballot from my office. You will no longer go to a polling place to vote. They didn't even give us a choice. That's, you know, I don't, as far as I just took mine to the courthouse, but, you know, it kind of bothers me that we didn't vote on it. Maybe it would have gone through anyway. This is a, a receipt for a phone charger. Here's a stained glass doodle card. And here's another one of those beautiful ATCs. I think those came from Becky. And here's that Crayola paper that Judy sent me. And these are some photos I'm saving out. These are ocean ones. I'm going to do these in my travel journal. I'm saving these for my travel journal with rosemary. So I'm not going to use these. Oceans, boats, ships. Here they're at the getting their passport. And these are just some envelopes. So that's all junk. These these are not junk. These are going over here. All right. Are you guys bored with all my junk? First I bore you with all the letters, then I bore you with all the junk. Mary is just so interesting. <laughs> I forget the chat. Good night, Angie. Try twisting it like a screw. Oh. I will, Angie. Try twisting it like a screw. Well, it does twist, but the whole thing twists. Maybe if I hold on to this part here. There. That worked, Angie. But I think now I'm going to have to put some glossy accent on that. Let's do that right now. Angie, you were smart lady. Thank you for for that tip. Let's take a a scrap of paper and put some glossy accent on that and make sure it's glued down cuz I think I pulled the button off of it and I want to put it on on uh <laughs> I got to get used to your name. Lily Bell Rainbow. Lily Bell Rainbow. Yeah, we'll just let that set there and dry. But what I don't have in here is a lot of painty paper stuff. However, the calendar has painty paper already. So that might be a good choice for this type of journal. So, let's do some pages. Let's get some. I'm going to take because that's easy. And I'm not going to bind it tonight. Let's save the note cards out. All right, let's start with the Let's start with the pages. These two will be the cover here. So, let's just start with the first signature and I got a lot to choose from here. I got a lot to choose from. So we could 
Well, let's see. I've got this. And I think this is double-sided tape from the Galaxy. From the Galaxy. Um, painting that I did on wax paper. I could put that. Well, but we're going to go up and down, though. We're going to do flippy floppy book. So how do I want to do that? Maybe I'll just do it right here. Let's tear it. Let's cut it. <laughs> Cuts better than tears. And it does already have double-sided tape on it. I think this has that. No, I think this is double-sided tape. This isn't carpet tape. And maybe if I'm lucky, I can get the release paper off. Sue says, Mary, a while ago I sent you a bunch of lace that might work with your dolls. Okay, Sue's. I'll probably run across it, or I may have thrown it in with my other lace. I have a big box of lace that's upstairs of stuff that I've carded. So it could be in with that. And I was going to bring that downstairs here. Okay, now these, I, I think I'm going to save these. I think these came from Aunt Beck. I, I think she sent me three or four of these pretty background ATCs. I think they came from Aunt Beck. I'm not sure. But look, here's some boys. And I think they'll go good on this shed here. But they need something behind them. Oh, how about this napkin? How about this napkin behind him? And we could actually put it backwards, upside down, so that they show up more. Let's do that. Let's tear this in half. Now that's the United States up there. So we want to cover that up. And this is, this is part of the backing here. Let's peel that backing off. So we're going to cover up the United States with the boys because it's upside down anyway. And we're going to put them. We don't need all those stars. Let's take, let's take two rows of stars off here. Right about here. Let's cut it. And we'll put this down with tape. Uh-oh, did I cut it too short? No, I don't think. Oh, I was going to do it upside down. Like this. They'll show up better if I put that napkin upside... Uh, face down. Let's... Let's see. Let's put them... Let's put them right down in there. Maybe over a little. And, of course, the napkin's torn. And I'm not doing it any good here. So, hopefully this glue stick is a good one. And I'm going to glue this. Now this will be the first page of a signature. And I've got all this stuff on my desk. But I'm going to just work right on top of it. Because I want to use stuff. So... The napkin is going to be halfway up this door, right here. And I'll be covering up stuff. Let's do that. But I have to cover up stuff in order to get stuff down. So I'm going to glue right there. And I'll probably have to go back and re-glue and all of that stuff. But at least I'm getting ready to do some... Well, actually, I feel like I've done a lot today in terms of... Oh, I wanted to put it upside down. Actually, yeah, this is the way I want it.
Now, I need my palette knife. Hold the phone. I gotta get my palette knife. I moved my jar of. No, I didn't. Is it here? Is the palette knife in here? Or is it in that other jar? Well, let's get my tweezers, or even this pair of scissors here. Hold on. I want to lift this up. There. Yeah. I throw my glue stick around here. I'm good with that. Now I want to put the boys. And this is kind of thinking about glue booking, or really it's uh, junk journaling, not glue booking. Even though I am glue booking, I mean gluing, it's more of a junk journal. And I got sticky on there. What can I put there? I don't know if anything makes sense to go there. All this junk and I can't find something to put there that I want to put there. How about this? Yes, we'll take that down. And I'll probably leave this mess on my desk. I don't know if I'll work on this Sunday night. I like to work on different things. I don't want to get too wrapped up in any one thing. It gets boring. It gets boring for me. I was getting bored with get putting those letters in there. I'll put this right there. That'll take care of that glue to the edge. It's got a little down here. We'll put these boys right here. And, of course, here's my pen. And I was going to say, leave it right here, Mary. Luckily, I didn't break it. All right, let's get some of the... Look, I got a tea bag tie. And I got some postage stamps that could go right up here. I put that on there. I'm going another page here. All right, let's do the boys next. Hi, Julie Parker. Was Lisa in here? Was Lisa here? They said, Lisa, my precious. What was this? Allie K. There's Lisa. Hi, Lisa. I don't know if she's still here. You guys, I can't tell you how good it feels to have all that stuff written down. I mean, it, yes, it's packed away in boxes. But I have a list of what's in every box, so... Uh, and it's, it's pretty, you know, yes, if I want something, I'll have to go hunting through the list and find the box. But, yeah, it's not the same as, where did I put this? And where did I put that? And, you know, it, there just comes a time when you get so overwhelmed. Like, look at my desk. And this is just, this is just a little, you know. And there's so many creative things you can do with stuff. I think I want little stuff on here now, like this tea bag thing. And 
these could be separate pages maybe let's put these aside uh, somewhere right there we could put these stars up here maybe let's cut these in half let's put the stars up there But it feels good to actually be using some of this stuff and not throwing it away. That's the part that feels good. You know, a lot of this stuff, a lot of people would just throw it away. And I understand why. <laughs> So good to see you it's so good to see you you did a stream the other night I missed it but what did I do Monday I was tired oh I <laughs> I worked all day Monday I was tired all right I have a Rolodex card I have a piece of fabric wool ease here's a note card some Rolodex cards I should really get these things in order, so I started out orderly. <laughs> here, now look, see here's, this I got in Happy Mail, and it's really a pocket, but that would go good on here. I hate to, I hate to tape it down. I almost like it like that, because it's so cool. Is that, oh, this, I bet, is a bookmark. I'll bet this is meant to be a bookmark. Yes, that's what that is. It's a bookmark. I'm not going to take that down. Somebody sent this to me in Happy Mail. Let's put it right up here. Oh, I like that. I might have to put a paper clip or a bobby pin on it. <laughs> but we'll leave it there for now. And you could even put a... A picture in there or something let's see this is here's Beth's map uh, these envelopes I want to make something out of those I'm looking for something else I can put on here uh, bits of ribbon did you send this to me Suze are you here, Suze? Somebody sent this to me. I'm not sure who sent it to me. It might have come in. No, it came in Happy Mail. It might have come in one of my auction halls. Put that over there. I'm looking for something else to go on this page. Some more Rolodex cards. Are those the same ones? Let's put the Rolodex cards in the notes. Yours was huge. Okay. Envelopes. Oh, here's some gold dots. Let's play with these gold dots. Let's put some gold dots on this page just for the fun of it. Let's put two. Wait. This one's this one's dry. Or it has to be peeled. That's it. You have to peel them. Do you? Am I peeling? Am I breaking it? I broke it. I don't know what that is. That one went down there good. I guess we're going to glue it down. They're old. They're old. I don't know where they came from. Now remember, this is a junk journal. So, I could have junk, or I could leave room for notes. Journal spots in here. 
We could make a waterfall here. A waterfall. I kind of like that idea. Only maybe over here, cover up my tree. Maybe just three. So I think you start with the look. This one's coming off. I don't know. Those don't seem to stick very well. They're old stickers. I'm, I think they've lost their stick them. I thought you peeled off the back, but I tried that and it fell apart. It looks like you peel them off the back, but how come they're sticking to the sheet? They're sticking to the sheet, but they're not sticking to anything else. Old stuff. All right. I want to do a waterfall here. And how do I want to do it? This way? So it opens up this way, or should I do it this way? And when I say waterfall, I mean one on top of the other. Like that. And then you open it like that. So let's do the top one. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I could make it up far enough so that this book corner marker book page marker will hold it down so we're going to put it up there and we're going to leave that so I'm going to put a piece of tape across here and not in the center or it will stick to the one under it over it so one there and one there and then I'll have to come back and put stuff on it. Now I'm just trying to use up my junk. And it's 10.17. I really don't want to stay too late tonight. And Suze, I'll bet you if you sent me a, lot, a huge bunch of lace... I probably have it folded up in that box. I have a box of lace that I took upstairs because I just did not have room for it. I've got all sorts of lace down here. And I took a lot, I boxed up a, a bunch of it and took it upstairs. All right, we're going to put that down there so I can still open up and look underneath. And then we're going to put one on top of that. Hi, Sylvia. Lick and stick. Is that what it is, Allie Kay? A lick and stick? You know, these came from... I know what they came from. You know those old stationery sets that were just a uh, trifold uh, stationery? And you'd fold it up. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? It was a trifold. You'd, you would fold it like like this, you know, like that, and then you'd put the seal there. I'll bet it is a licking stick. Well, mine's a gluing stick. <laughs> what did they do? Lick them when they put them on that sheet? <laughs> I don't want to lick them if somebody else licked them. I don't think anybody else. They probably used some sort of a sponge or something. All right. That could go up a little. Let's move it up a little. I already got it down here. Let's put it right up to the bottom of the other one. Right there. So it'll be a little... I I guess you could call that a water... It's not really a waterfall. It's, it's a flip. Waterfall would flip the other way. A waterfall would be like this. It would be falling. Mine's not falling. Mine's flipping open. <laughs> I do like this. I like this bookmark now. It really goes here. 
Let's put it back on there now. Uh, in. Right in there. Alright, we got one more to do here. We're going to do three of them. Right in there. You're just guessing? It could be it. You love those, Becky? Those trifold stationary sets? They are. They were popular in the late 60s and the 70s. I know I had several of them when I was in high school. I probably still have one up in Wisconsin. <laughs> um, I think I got one in at a thrift store down here, and that's probably what that came from. Or it could have been just from sitting around the house here. It could have been belonged to my brother's significant other. I don't know. I pick up stuff around the house like this. Today I found... I found my sister's obituary that was in the paper and I found somebody else's obituary. I saved them out. They're not in here. I saved them. I want to put them in my personal journal that I'm keeping. What's going on here? All right, I still feel like I can put more on here, but I'm not sure what. Let's just sort out. Uh, this is another napkin. We could actually glue that on there. I kind of like the idea of gluing that on there. Let's tear this. Put some color on those Rolodex pages. Oh, and we could take a Crayola that was happened to be in that bag of stuff. How about, well, we just got blue here. Let's do blue here. Let's take a envelope and put under there. Oh, under the, under that one. And let's color this real fast. I should hit this with the heat gun and smooth it out. I don't know where my palette knife went to, though. I like to use my palette knife when I do that. I'll probably use an old brush. my palette knife is in here. I throw stuff around. Here's an old brush I can use. I should, I, I try to, I try to at least keep them all in the same container, but I couldn't tell you where that palette knife is tonight. I had two of them. Uh, I don't know where they went off to. Is there one over here? The paint brush. Here's an older paint brush. Let's use that. Yes, I'm gonna melt that crayon. <laughs> Cause I feel like it. I haven't done that for a long time. You had several pen pals, Becky said. Becky said she had several pen pals. Let's melt this pen. Make it smooth. That's why I like to melt them. It's smooth. You can't get the paper too hot. You don't want to burn it.
And since this, well, I could put a piece of washi tape down there. It's kind of interesting that once I get that melted on there, it's not moving anymore. I don't want to melt my bristles. <laughs> melt my paintbrush. I'll put some washi tape on this. Let's do it one more time on the edge here. All right, that's good enough. And yep, this will be a this will be a wax brush. We'll just do the first page. Well, I'd like to do something on those though. Do I want to do something on those? Be kind of hard now. Should have done it before. Let's see. Let's just make it a different color. Let's make it let's make it red. Only I won't melt it. We won't melt this one. We'll just color this one. I should have done this before I put the Rolodex cards down, but I didn't think of it. And for the last one, let's try something here. I have this. Let's try. See if I can get a little rubbing off of that. I don't know if I'll be able to or not. Let's try the purple. I don't know. Uh, it would have worked if... Yeah, I don't think it's going to work now. It would have worked um, if I had it flat. Maybe. I don't know. It's kind of curved. Let's just do it purple. Too much trouble, Mary. You're an awful lot of trouble. I just want to get color down. I just don't want them white. Although the backs are white. Oh no, the backs are white. And I'm just scribbling it on like a kid would. Marry the kid. And I think these are crayon Crayolas. I think I got a box of, what, 48 of them or something. They are crayons. Crayola crayons. Using my stash, doing a junk journal. Now it's all puffy. That's okay. It'll flatten out. Let's put this book cover back on, bookmark back on it. All right, and then I was going to, I don't know if a glue stick will stick on there now. Where's the rest of my napkin? I guess this was what I tore off. Uh, I just have a mess on my desk. That's all there is to it. Mess, mess. So much stuff on my desk I can't, can hardly have room to create. I'm going to see if this napkin will stick on here. on the wax, the crayon. It isn't like it's wax wax, it's crayon wax. Let's put it 
this way. Junk, just junk. That's all it is, is junk. Oh, let's do the next page. I don't know if we'll have enough for the last page. I might have something else for the last page. All right. I got this. I don't know if that'll glue down with glue stick though. Looks like I glued it down with something. Did I hit that with the heat gun and it melted? Might have. Melted this with the heat gun, I think. Let's try it. It'll probably shrivel up on me. Yeah, that shriveled up, but I don't know if it's going to stick on there. Let's melt it a little bit more to get it to fit, and then I'll tape it down. This, see how that melts? This is why... When you go on an airplane, you don't want to wear nylons because if the airplane has a fire and crashes, that nylon will just melt on your body. I read that in one of the articles about airplane crashes and I just cringed. I just cringed to think of this, you know, the heat just melting on your, that on your skin. Ooh, where's my tape? But anymore today, almost all of our clothes have synthetics in them. I doubt that we have very few clothes that we wear every day that do not have some sort of a synthetic in it. Oh, we might have cotton tops. Tees, but... Or the denims. If you wear denim jeans and a cotton tee, you might be okay. But don't wear nylons. <laughs> that was back, I read that back in the day when girls were dressed up to go to work. Let's put it, let's put it this way. All right. And it's going to bulge up a little until it flattens out. I could put a bobby pin or something there. All right, what time is it? It's 10.34. My bookmark is not staying on my page. That's because I keep moving it around there. Uh, can I tuck that in? There. I feel like it needs some sort of a journal spot. Where's my... Where's my letters? Let's see, what else do I have here? I could put the Crayola there. I have some Goodwill tags. $2.99. Some envelopes. I have a butterfly. Let's put this butterfly on here. 
somehow. No, he doesn't. He's not fitting. All right, let's see what I have here. I want this. My stamps are going to go on the next page, I believe. So we'll put them there. And let's put some of these loose things in here. Maybe I'll find something as I'm... could put that flower on it. Since I've got bulky stuff on here. I need a paper clip or something on that. Alright. Oh, I have this little boy. ATC coin. Oh, they're gone. Let's just put them in here. Get some of this stuff away. There's a button. Oh, look. Archaeology. Archaeology. <laughs> it means nothing, but it's a word. What other words do I have? I've got a strip of, it says Vic, victorious. I think this is, this is a fabric. I kind of like that on there. What else do I have here? Perfect for your special occasion. A little, I've got a star. I kind of, I, I've got to do something with this flopping up when it's bothering me. Yes, Mary's reaching for a bobby pin for temporary. No, I should just make something. Make a bobby pin holder here. Put it right there. All right, let's see. Oh, here's, a, here's another napkin. I could have used that. Well, another time. I got some or got some stamps. That could go on one of them. No. Actually, this could go here. And those could go. I could go there. I don't want to cover up my spots. Yeah. All right, I'm 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 looking to put stuff away here. I got the feet. I got the feet. I'm putting some of my loose stuff in envelopes here. I'll pick it up again later. My fairy, I can stamp with the fairy. Sometimes you get all this stuff out and you forget what you have. You just have to keep looking. There's that package of... String. Crayola wrapper. Oh, the owl. The owl. Let's cut the owl out and put him on top of the barn. Let's fussy cut him out. I guess I'm going to 11 tonight. I do not want to stay up too late. But I, I, I at least want to do this one page. The thing of it is, it takes me a while to decide what I want to do. Now, the owl stamp that I carved for Lori and Artsy Nancy was not like this. It was a different type of owl, but it was still an owl. All right. I'm going to put that owl up here. 
<laughs> just because. Just because. And I think I'll keep this waxy brush with my stuff too. Let's put it in this bag. Of course I closed the bag. And let's put some of these lace bits in there. They're just getting in my way. And let's put the rest of these seals in here. And I think that's just release paper. I don't want that anymore. And let's put this in here. Let's put my little cake pins in there. Put this in here. I've got a little pocket. We can put that on here too. Put that there. Put the pocket down here. All right. These go in here. I'm getting enough in that envelope that's almost too much in the envelope. Crayon. Grocery receipt. the bag here that I've got it all out of. Let's put it all back because it's going to sit here on my desk and I'll want to do other stuff. I want to work on my dolls. Not tonight, but I'll be wanting to work on my dolls. So when will Mary finish this? I don't know. I'm inspired to do it, though. I'm going to save that out. Oh, I also got the tea thing Put that behind it. And then the next time I'll get this stuff out, it will be all new to me again. Look at all this stuff. Help, I'm drowning in stuff. Put the Crayolas away. I did melt some crayon tonight. Yay! I like the idea of putting a star on there. Uh, those ATCs. I guess I cut more of those than I thought I did. Is that more? Oh no, that's okay. This stays here, that stays there. These can go in the bag. I'll save those. That's junk. It is a true junk journal. And look, I have these trident boxes. I've been chewing a lot of Trident gum because it keeps me from eating candies. But it has a seal on here. Where is the seal? Seal might be on the big package, but it's... Here it is. ADA helps prevent cavities when chewed for 20 minutes after eating. ADA accepted. And usually I'll put a piece of candy in my mouth. Hard candy. But ever since I went to the dentist, and then I started reading up on, I started reading up on uh, 
foods and stuff to eat and what you could eat instead of candy. And they re a lot of dentists recommended chewing this ADA-approved gum because it has that um, X X Y L I T O L xylitol in it, and that's supposed to be good for your teeth, help prevent cavities. Yeah, I think I'll put that other piece of tape down there and put my star there instead of that. Got a little tag. I'm kind of cleaning up now that I got all the stuff out. I'm kind of cleaning up again. That's a bead. That, this, some of this stuff. No, I guess this all goes inside. This is all. All fall. I mean, all junk. Can I put it in here? I'm just going to keep that out. Sheesh, Mary. A lot of this stuff people would just toss. You know, once, once you, once you have it and use it and you're done with it, throw it away. But we have it and use it and keep it <laughs> for our junk journals. Lisa says, I gotta go. Y'all have a wonderful, restful night and a great weekend. Thank you for dropping by, Lisa. She's probably long gone, but... Rachel says, in for a few minutes before bed. Hello again, Mary. Thank you, Rachel. I'm kind of wrapping up here by putting stuff away and I want to try those these go on Penelope here's some more of those trucks <laughs> I bought a package I don't chew it all in one day but I've been chewing a lot of gum but I, I think they'll make good little holders look they'll make good little holders for stuff so I'm going to alter some of these all right, these are staying out. These go into, these are Penelope's pins I bought for her. All right, I think, I think I'm ready to finish up my one page here. And we'll put that lock and key on here. Where am I gonna put the star? Well, it shows up. This is gonna go here and here. Maybe the star up here. All right. Junk, junk, junk. Scrappy, 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 scrappy. I just have to do this live because it just, it gets to me after a while. It gets to me, all that stuff being out here. And I can hardly concentrate with it being all over my desk there. And I bagged it up into one, two. This is a bead bag. This isn't going with this. Two bags. We'll work with this again. I have some papers too, but I really don't need papers because I got the calendar pictures. I might need papers when I get to the numbers, painty papers. All right, hold the phone here. Let me get the scraps off my desk. What is that tape? All right. That all goes in the trash. I'm going to put that in there. All right. All right, let's finish this page and then I'll call it a night. I want to put this down here. It says Victorious, V-I-C-T-O-R-I-A-S, right there. And this says Archaeology. That really doesn't fit on there. Maybe I'll keep that off. Let's put this. No, no, let's keep it up there. 
I'm going to put it on with double sided tape. The bag. And I'm going to put the tape on the paper rather than on the fabric. And put the tape right there. No artificial flavors or colors. Never heard of them. Gluten, dairy-free, vegan, keto. Has anybody ever tried Zollipops? Supposed to be good for the teeth. Anti-cat. No, I haven't heard of them either. Zollipops? Yeah, there are... As I was reading... Reading up on stuff that's good for your teeth. A lot of natural... A lot of natural, uh, this is just sticking to my tissue paper. A lot of your natural, I want to say spices, but not spices, just natural stuff. <laughs> natural, f uh, not spices. Well, I guess you could call them spices. Things like zinc, and I don't know if zinc is one of them. But a lot of the natural um uh, p uh, minerals or can't think of the right word for it are good for your teeth I I don't know where that xylitrol comes from I suppose I could read about it and find out it's X Y I T R O L I think I'm not sure where that comes from but I sent you a link in Messenger. I tried them. Oh, I think she's talking to Aunt Beck. I've never tried them, but they sound interesting. She's talking about those lolly. What did you call them? Lolly? Lolly something. Zolly. Zolly pops. A lot of Indian spices are good for the teeth. Thank you, Sylvia. I, I wanted to say spices, but I wasn't sure spices was the right word. But a lot of your natural, naturals. <laughs> I can't think of the right word. Things like zinc, although I'm not sure zinc is good for your teeth, but that type of element, I guess you could say. I don't know what I'm talking about. I was thinking I'd put this pocket on. This is a little pocket. But I don't know. Do I want it there? Oh, let's put it there. And let's put this here and the key hole there. And maybe I'll come in and put a key in there someday. So let's do that. And this is this is kind of a felt. This is is an earbud case and I, I don't know why they make these because the earbuds don't fit in there very good <laughs> I never use them for my earbuds I have a whole bunch of these every time I buy my favorite brand of earbuds they have this little case that comes with them alright so I want to put it right in here so I'm going to tape from the bottom of that leaf to Right in there, about with that star. Oh, crap. So right about here to about there. And maybe I'll give it about three of them. And boy, I'll tell you, the last time I went to Dollar Tree, they only had five double-sided tape packages left, so I took every one of them. <laughs> I, they better get some more in. I love Dollar Tree's double-sided tape. I hope that they don't quit making it. I'll be very disappointed. 
I like it because it does what I want it to do as far as art journaling and it's not expensive. All right, I'm just going to put this, let's fold it, let's snap it closed and right in, right in here, right in there. That's good. I think that'll still hold. So I got that down. Now I need to put the star down. I'm going to put the star up here. Right up in there. This was just a piece of vinyl. I made it for... Actually, I put it on my jelly plate. And I think I sprayed around it or put paint around it. I think I put it face... No, I had it face... I had it down like that, but... Let's taper down. Out of all that stuff I got out and sort of through, I got one page done. But I made the, I, I folded the journal. I kind of sorted stuff out. I kind of got a sense of where I'm going with this. And this is a true junk journal. I'm just gluing stuff, junk. Stuff that I would probably would hit the wastebasket if I wasn't such a pack rat. Now I guess I'm going to have to put this star up a little because I don't want it to hit my owl. Let's just cover up that other star. Let's put it this way. Right there. Alright, that's good. I'm good with that. And one more thing I want to do is put the lock, the lock on this. And we'll call this page done. Except I'll come back and put something on the inside. Let's, let's do it that way, I guess. Allie K says, candy substitute, Janet. They say... It helps balance the pH in your mouth. People report that makes your teeth feel cleaner. That gum has makes my breath feel fresher, but you can only chew it for about 20 minutes or so, and then I spit it out. Uh, it, it retains the, even after 20 minutes, you can still taste the, this is like a peppermint flavor, the mint flavor. You can still taste the flavor, but it gets, to me, it gets kind of hard to chew after a bit. It gets kind of stiff, I think. And, or or I just get tired of chewing it. I spit it out for a while. I don't think it's good to keep that gum in your mouth all day. I usually chew it after I eat. Where's my... I'm going to put this right here. I just I just chew it right after I eat. It makes my my mouth feel fresh. -er. All right, I got tape going across there. Let's cut that out. Otherwise, it'll stick to something. finger and this will be my last page this will be my last project what did we do tonight I talked about oh you know what I didn't talk about I wanted to talk about the time for art in September I'll hold that for another time because I'm getting ready to wrap it up um Uh, what is my list here? My to-do list. We did this tonight. Let's save these papers. 
I made my junk journal. In my list. My list of things I wanted to do tonight. Those are my sheets. I don't know. I just can't seem to keep track of things. Even when I, even when I try to get organized and make a list, I lose my list. I probably put it away in the junk pile of junk. I don't see it here. There. All right. Well, anyway. I opened Happy Mail. I sorted out all those random or ransom letters and sorted all that out. Put letters on all the envelopes. We made the name the doll. We did the Name the Doll, and we did this junk journal, and I think that's about all I did tonight. I'll put this in my June, July, August journal. I wanted to talk about, I wanted to do Fibsville tonight. Didn't get that done. I wanted to talk about the time for art in September, and I didn't get that done. So, those are just things. When I find my list, when I find my list, I'll put it on, I'll, I'll make a, wait, I think I found my list. <laughs> I think I found it. I put it over here with my painting envelopes. All right, let's check this off. Hold it. I'm not done. Happy Mail. I did Happy Mail. I did the Ransom Note Organizer. I did not get this done. I announced the September 4th, uh, 10th time for art. I did the Junk Journal 1. We did not get the Fibsville story done. I was going to do that while I was Junk Journaling. and I didn't. I was concentrating on my junk journaling. Oh dear. So that'll be, I'm gonna put this in my journal. That'll be for another day. Maybe I'll keep that. And... Alrighty. So, that's about all I got done today, tonight that I have for ARC. And we named our doll. Let's get the doll. Well, no, that's really Lori's art. I, I, oh, I don't want to put it on my thumbnail because I feel like it's Lori's art, not mine. Same way with this calendar. This page I'll leave out. That this will be my thumbnail. I'll probably divide it in half and put it half and half. All right. Let me come out and say goodnight to everybody. Thank you, Sylvia. Scott will be home soon, Beck says. She said it's midnight and some fool with a loud muffler is revving it up outside. Oh, Becky. Becky, are you still here? Becky, she says, I hope everyone has a great weekend. Becky, did you send me these? I, I hope you're still here. Did you send me these background ATCs? I can't get them out of the package. I think I think they came from you. They're metallic and they're in plastic. I can't get them out now. Sleeves. They look like this. Are you here, Becky? And I, I got three or four of them. I think they came from you. I think these came from Becky, and I, I, I think they're metallic, and they look like they've been um, clear-coated. I think Becky left. I was going to put them in my junk journal, but they're almost too pretty. I don't think those are your... Okay. Well, somebody sent these to me. They're very pretty. I got them in Happy Mail. This one's been stamped on. They've been clear-coated. 
I got three or four of them. They just look like something you might have done, and, and you package your things up so nice that I thought maybe it came from you. But somebody else packaged them up nice, I guess. You did send some background. Yeah, you sent some paste paper backgrounds. I remember those. All right. We're going to try these someday, these tips from Danny K. They're paint tips. She sent these to me. Mary, these little caps you can screw on to two ounce bottles of paint. They're fine liner caps. I've had them around for a while. We're not going to try them tonight, but we're going to try them sometime. Okay, I'm ready to... You don't have any of those. Okay. The artist should have signed them. Yeah. I think that they sent them to me not as ATCs, but as backgrounds, painty paper backgrounds, metallic backgrounds to make ATCs. Sort of like uh, painty paper. Only they, they packaged them up real nice. I've got three or four of them. I'm going to use them. I didn't, I might even put them in here. <laughs> I'll probably put them in my ATC book. Scott is home. Okay, Becky, have a good night. Bye. Good night, everybody. Thanks for, for streaming with me. I didn't get everything done I wanted to do, but there'll be another night on Sunday night. Uh, tomorrow's Saturday. Don't ask me who's on tomorrow during the day, except for I know Beth Schuler comes on tomorrow night around 6 p.m. Eastern. And uh, I'll be back Sunday at 6 p.m. Central. So have a great week. Uh, keep Janet Baum in your hearts and prayers and the people on the East Coast, the people that are in the path of the Hurricane Henry. Uh, and uh, not to get political, because uh, I don't want to do that here, but keep the people in Af Afghanistan, all the people, uh, keep them in your hearts and prayers. Uh, the, their country's in turmoil. Uh, they're in turmoil. There are refugees coming over. We have citizens over there. There's the Taliban. Uh, you know, just pray for the people of Afghanistan and the people that are over in that part of the country. Or send them good thoughts, whatever your faith is. Um, I really do believe in good positive vibes being heard by our whoever you believe is your creator or the supreme being. Uh, I don't want to get religious and I don't want to get political, but I do, I do believe in people sending out good thoughts, good positive thoughts. Keep Janet Baum in your prayers. Pray for Nettie that she, she heals from his, her surgery. She's home now. And take care of yourself. Have a good weekend, and I will see you Sunday night. Bye.